We've loved seeing Nintendo's recent innovative and creativity stimulating experiments, the latest of which being LEGO Super Mario. Using special interactive bricks, you can build all sorts of courses for Mario to hop around, collect coins, and smash some Goombas. Unfortunately, while the set was fun to build, the overall experience wore thin quick. Perhaps we're just too old, but even for kids, we think there's still a lot of untapped potential. So we want to push the possibilities of LEGO Mario a bit further, and to do that, we're going to have to hack these barcodes. LEGO Mario's magic lies in the little barcode scanning camera, nestled in his bum. The codes themselves comprise of 29 lines, 0.2mm in width, and spaced 0.2mm apart. Each holds a unique sequence of colours, which tells Mario whether it's a Goomba, question mark block, or some other action. This sort of tech isn't new to the toy world. Toyo by Sony uses virtually invisible codes to move around these little cubes, creating a magical and mesmerising result. But the good thing about these more obvious and colourful barcodes is that they're much easier for us to replicate. The simplest way we can do this is just by taking a photo. After snapping the Goomba's barcode, we scaled it to the original size and printed it out on some ordinary paper. And just like that, bootleg Goomba! Even though the print resolution isn't quite as good as the real deal, Mario still doesn't seem to have a problem reading it, so we won't need you anymore. The next step is to print more of the barcodes, but this time we'll recreate them from scratch. So we started by creating a line pattern identical to the original. To make sure the colours are accurate, we used the companion app, which let us easily screenshot and eyedrop the exact hues. We then repeated this process for all the barcodes of the starter kit, and created the blandest course imaginable. We got the start, followed by a Goomba, question mark block, cloud thing, rotating thing, Bowser Jr, and finally the goal. Let's give it a try. And what do you know, it worked! An interesting note is that we left out these little icons and it still worked fine, so I guess they're just cosmetic. So now that we've managed to counterfeit an entire course, how can we take it further? Well, it turns out these barcodes don't actually need to be contained within this little square. In fact, you can supersize them like this, and Mario will react wherever you place them. The barcodes are no longer just tiles, but a whole new crafting material, which we can tear or cut into any shape or size. As long as it's bigger than the original tiles, Mario won't have any problem recognising it. Now what makes this really interesting is that we can begin to use LEGO Mario outside of the box, or a uh, brick rather. So we went a little further and made some sheets of barcode stickers and cut them out, so you can easily slap them onto anything and transform it into a functional piece of the course. Now we're really blurring the lines between LEGO and LABO. Hmm, this feels very familiar. Eh, uh, never mind. Now that we're no longer bound by the brick, you can make a course like this! Hope you've enjoyed this video, we had a lot of fun making it. We've put a link in the description to all our custom barcodes, so you can think outside the brick as well. Finally, please subscribe! We'll be making more videos all about playful inventions and interventions, so stay tuned. Till next time! See you later.